I was di diagnosed back in October of 2012, and it's the um, estrogen fed, which is one of those uh, cancers that is uh, fast growing, so they say. Um, so with the diagnose, uh, we had to jump on it pretty quickly with that type of uh, cancer, but we found it very early, stage one. So we were able to, uh, you know, operate and start chemo. Unfortunately, I had to make the phone call to Courtney here at Miami, which um, I think that was the hardest thing because I wanted to be there for her and hug her. I answered, you know, not expecting anything, and then she's just really quiet on the other end of the line and trying to hold back tears. And I was like, oh my gosh, mom, you know what's wrong? You know what's going on? And then when she told me, like, Courtney, I went to the doctor. I found out that I have breast cancer. I mean, that's when I just kind of kind of lost it. I was definitely shocked, sad, thinking the worst, but knowing my mom, always positive, and trying to keep you know us cheered up when she's you know at her low and at her worst. We're talking with my kids, I encouraged them and told them, you know, we did catch it early, and with that, we're going to beat this just because we caught it at, at an early stage, and um, it was scary. But with my family and my faith, we got through it, knowing that uh, we found it early. Chemo, I'm not going to lie, it is not fun at all. It, it seems like each drug you get, it's different, and you don't know how your body's going to react to it. There's a lot of sickness. There's a lot of days where um, even water tasted awful. I mean, it, it just, it was, there was some bad times. But um, again, you just had to look for that. You had to live day by day and just know that you're gonna get stronger each day. A big thing about being feminine, at least for my mom, and a lot of other women is just losing your hair. That's the most frustrating part. And me reminding her that, you know, it's not the end of the world. And, you know, I was trying to do everything that I could to kind of support her. And then I heard about Pantene Beautiful Links. And, you know, I was, I even considered shaving my hair for my mom. So I decided to just cut off what I had. And so just being able to give back and show my mom that I'm supporting her in this way was just something that I felt good about. She, um she told me that, Mom, you know, we'll get through this and I'll get through mine. We'll be a stronger, you know, stronger people for this. It was uh, about three or, three or four months after my last chemo. Um, and of course, they do all the x-rays and everything, check you, and uh, she come back in and told me that right now you're cancer free. And it was just, you know, very nice to see my hair come back and cancer was gone and it was a fun time. It was so nice just to see her back out there on the court when I got back um, to watching her again. But uh, this last year has been really great, wonderful uh, coach and girls, and, and I think she's bonded very well with them, which makes me very happy to see her happy out there on the court and, and working hard and being that leader um, her last year. I mean, I think I knew my mom was strong before, uh, but now that she's battled breast cancer, it just shows me how strong she truly is. I draw inspiration from my mom by wearing pink every day. So I either wear it in my socks, my headbands, or my sports bra. It's just kind of a reminder that, you know, I can't take things for granted. Sometimes we take our moms or someone we love for granted. And just having that reminder that, you know, somewhere someone could be going through something worse than you, that you need to enjoy the moment that you have. Um, I just wear those things as a reminder in support of her, but then also a reminder to enjoy, you know, what I'm doing right now while I can.